say welcome everyone to One Touch Ministries, second our home gathering, uh, where our uh, episodic overseers are Pastor Shannon Young and Prophetess Nadija Young. And the campus minister is myself, Minister Henry Jackson. As as you do do the uh, order of service, um, yeah, we're going to uh, start the uh, reading of uh, scripture from Miss Barbara Jackson. Okay, I'm coming from Second Corinthians five. I can only imagine verse one. But um, we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle was dissolved, we have a building of God, a house not made with hand, eternal in the heavens. But in this we grow uh, earning, desire to be clothed upon with our house which is from heaven. If so be that being clothed we should not be found naked. But we there are in the tabernacle do grow being bound not for what we would be unclothed but clothed upon that mortality may be swallowed up in of life. Now he that has wronged us with his selfishness thing in his God, who also has given us the earning of the Spirit. Therefore we are always confident, knowing that which we are at home in the body, we are absent from the Lord. If we walk by faith, not by sight, we are confident, I say, and willing rather to be absent from the body than to be present with the Lord. I have an incident down here. This read As we live to praise Jesus while waiting for him to return for us home, we can rejoice with the peace of the conscious presence. But will we experience the moment we leave our earthly body and join Jesus in eternity. We can only imagine. We have you been worried about or discouraged by facing death or losing loved one. How does God promise for everlasting life it carries you? Loving God, thank you for the promise to be, be with me on earth and for all eternity. The Lord's word has been read in black. We're going to uh, go into prayer. Uh, this uh, very moment. Dear Heavenly Father, yeah, we thank you for, for this morning as you woke us up this morning and uh, put us out of our right mind. Um, dear Heavenly Father, that I do ask that the season now that you have us in, that you will continue to bless us with, with our help, that you continue to bless us with 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 the things that you uh, want to do with, within our life, that we are restored. In, in certain areas where we need to be restored in and that we that you build up our faith so then we can endure um uh th this season uh Henry father i thank you for my health i thank you for for uh miss barbara's health i thank you for miss ruthie's health Henry father i thank you for uncle uh for me for uh minister james health I thank you for uh, my sister's health, my niece and nephew health, my brother and sister's health, and anyone else's health um, that we do have in prayer. Um, uh, in the uh, wonderful name of Jesus, so St. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Yeah, we're going to uh, dive into uh, praise and worship. 
did this little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine oh this little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine for this little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine let it shine let it shine let it shine. Let Jesus lead you. Let Jesus lead you. Let Jesus lead you all the way, all the way from earth to heaven. Let Jesus lead you all. He led my mother, he led my father, he led my sisters, brothers too, all the way from earth to heaven. Let Jesus lead you all the way. Amen. Yeah, we're gonna just go into a uh, testimony. Yeah, I just want to say I, I thank the Lord. Yeah, for uh, blessing my blessing my mother, uh, Miss Ruthie, for coming back home uh, safely. And you know, the report was in a bad bad report. Yeah, yeah, we just gotta uh, keep her warm. So, um, yeah, I do also like the uh, uh, thank thank. For my uh, niece and uh, nephew finally moving out the house. Yes. And, and as she got out their own place. Yes. So then uh, they could uh, run and scream and cry and do everything else. Right. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I do uh, thank the Lord for, you know, giving them their own place. Um, And and also, no, I just thank the Lord for, for you know, what he's done for me uh, 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 this month or this week. Um. And continue on uh, uh, my journey. Yes. So, uh, I just want what the Lord Lord to strengthen me up in, in in ways that that He want to strengthen me up, so that I can also be restored uh, in those areas where I need to be restored, and so I can grow to where He in in the capacity where He want me to grow at. So now we we're gonna go into the sermon uh, part of the service. Um, yeah, if you have how your Bibles in, go with me to the uh, book of uh, Galatians, Galatians 6, 1 through 10. Um, and, and I will be reading from the uh, message translation. Okay, and it uh, reads here, it's like, live, uh, create, a a Friends, say so if someone falls into sin, forgivingly restore him, saving your critical comments for yourself. So you might be needing forgiveness before the day is out. Stoop down and reach out to those who, who are oppressed. Share their burdens and so complete. Christ is law. So if you think you are too good for that, then you are badly deceived. And to say, make a careful a a exploitation of who you are and the work you have been given. And then sink yourself into that. Don't be impressed with yourself. Don't compare yourself with others. Each of you must take responsibility for doing the creative best you can with your own life. Be very sure now that you who have been trained to a self-sufficient maturity, that you enter into a generous common life with those who have trained you, sharing all the good things that you have and experience 
said, don't be misled, for no one makes a fool of God. Said, what a person plans, he will harvest. Said, the person who plants selfishness, yet ignoring the needs of others, which is ignoring God, harvests a crop of weeds. That all he, he will have to show for his life is weeds. But the one who plants in response to God, letting God's spirit do the growth work in him, harvest a crop in real life, eternal life. So let's not allow ourselves to get fogged, fagged, fagged it, uh, doing good. Say so at the right time, we, we will harvest a good crop if we don't give up or quit. Right now, therefore, every time we get the chance, let us work for the benefit of all, starting with the people closer to us in the community of faith. As we, as we do look at this uh, uh, scriptures, yeah, this scripture is Apostle Paul writing um to uh to to one one of his churches uh in the in the um the Corinthians one of the churches and he says to them um yeah we all been been in in, in a certain point in, in our life where we all felt like the work that we done um yeah we have felt just like I want to say give up or or we just felt like like the good work that we've been putting in, yet it doesn't show any, you know, fruit uh, for it. And so, um, as I like to say, it just like like us like when when we normally uh, save a dollar, yeah, we hoping to save a dollar until we get five dollars, or we hoping to save five dollars until we end up getting ten dollars, or we end up saving that to end up getting to a hundred. But then somewhere in between those lines, yeah, we tend to, or 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 should, should I say, life comes and then some emergency pops up, and so now it prevents us. I, I want to say, yeah, from looking at us saving up. I want to say a thousand dollars or a million dollars, and so most of us. You know, and, and most of the time, these things, uh, you know, are normally pe people that that normally access for help or or someone who who's in, I want to say, financial debt. Um, and, and so sometimes it it can feel as if those things that we have been putting forth, uh, uh from our own effort, that it can feel like, like we just taking two steps back. Yeah, instead of going forward, and so, um, and here, here the the apostle Paul is talking about, um, when we see see someone that's you know falling from a certain place that we have fallen from, that he uh want us to help them out because we know what it's like to feel to be in that certain uh situation, and so he want us. To help out, you know, yeah, without us falling back into the same thing where, where, where we came from. And so, um, as it says here, you know, when you do help someone out or when, you, when we do see people who have fallen short, then we are not to uh, uh, look at them and uh, I want to say point the finger at them and laugh at them and, and, and say, you know, you know how weak you know are, are they to keep falling in the same ditch you know and so some of us have have fallen in the same certain ditch time and time again and so they there was someone there who had to you know pick us up and who had to explain to us you know why why it's not good to keep falling inside of the same ditch and so you know here yeah, the Lord does not want you to be uh, counting costs as far as 
you know, how much money you spent to help this person or should I say how how many souls that you saved, you know, on your way here. Uh God 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 is not concerned about the numbers of souls that you saved or about how how much money that you spent out to help the person. But however that that he wants you to do it from your heart. And so he said, No, it is uh he don't want uh want us to ignore uh th those things that that people that that is of need of, especially if we have those things. Yeah, and so, so again, you no, know, the Lord doesn't uh want us to quit. And so, um, as I had said, oh, hold on, I I had another. Thing here that I had wanted to. Oh, in the uh, voice translation, yeah, it says in my inside the notes within the voice translation, it says, "Following in the path of the spirit it, it is not a chore. Instead, it opens us up to experiencing the life God has for us." And and so um. What I have wanted to attach to that, which was that there are some things that we, um, that the Lord won't want us to to let go, and and, and so you know may, uh, may, maybe it's a person or a thing, or, or a place, and so some of us may think that because we plant on you know uh, being there or we plant on being the, with this person. Um, sometimes that the Lord will let let us know, you know, no, he don't want us to be distracted by this person or this thing. And because he knows, you know, if we have this person or these things, that we're going to rely on that, you know, more than on him. And so, and so, you know, the outcome of that being is, yeah, we're not going to be where, where he wants us to be. And so, you know, yeah, so so sometimes when the Lord wants us to, I want to say, elevate us from where we are to where he's trying to get us, sometimes yeah, we tend to hold on to things that we want to hold on to. And so we know, uh, uh, f for example, you know, uh, I, I want to use as an example, but there are certain friends that we used to hang out with, you know, uh, that we know, no, I mean, they, they, they're, they're good people, not to say they're negative or they're a, a bad influence. But however, that we know if we keep them in our life, you know, them being there is what's going to give us the excuse of not moving forward, you know, or, 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 or like to say, yeah, we attend and like to, uh, uh, look at them as, as a reason why we couldn't do this or, reason why we couldn't do that for our, for ourselves and so yeah the lord do uh want to restore us inside of these this season and so with the restoration that the lord want to bring into our life again maybe uh uh may, may, maybe him healing some wounds or or else it may be him building up our faith in in helping and to rely on him more frequently than we than we normally are used to. Now I would I'd like to speak something for a blessing over your life. Uh yeah. Number one, uh, yeah, I speak blessings of health for you and your family. Say so, no number two, I speak blessings of deliverance from any habits that you have in your life. Uh, number three, I speak blessings of peace to your mind. From anybody or anything that may be disturbing you. Said number four, I speak blessings of salvation to any friends or loved ones. Number five, I speak blessings of comfort to any person that is hurting, that is lonely, uh, that is breathing, or that is confused. Uh, number six, I speak blessings of finances. A debt cancellation, a prosperity, 
of, of uh, economic empowerment to all of God's people according to his riches and glory. And number seven, I speak blessings of anointings and promotions in your life to complete your assignment, to move forward in your purpose. Now we're going, going to uh, do the uh, benediction. Um, if you uh, have, your, have your Bibles, you can follow me in the book of Numbers, uh, chapter 6, verse 24. 25 and 26. Now we're going to uh, read this all to uh, uh, gather. It's uh, ready. Read. God may bless you. God may keep you. God may smile on you. God may gift you. God may look you full in the face and make you prosper.